Joe Bjorki Peterson was elected Premier of Britain. Queen. The loss of jazz great Louis Armstrong today. Yvonne Gulagong won the Wimbledon women's single final, while John Newcomb. Fireworks mark the spectacular opening of the Sydney Opera. Cyclone Tracy devastated Darwin yesterday, leaving the colour television has arrived. Hundreds of black General Motors <laughs> celebrate their 50th anniversary. Abba <laughs> tops the charts again with their latest hit, Dance Session. Gymnast Nadia Comaneci received the first perfect tens. Dear Peter, by the time you read this, it'll be over. I wish I could say I was going to be your guardian angel, but you turned me into an existentialist, so I can't believe all that superstitious bullshit anymore, even if I wanted to. Now I know that when I die, I'll just disappear into a little cloud of dust. No heaven. No God. No nothing. Thanks a lot. I know guilt and regret are stupid emotions. But next time you get a bit of dust in your eye, blink softly. Yours much too sincerely, Yoni. You found me. Where else would you be? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing anything to you. Who was it last night? What? I saw the car. No one. I saw the car. There was no one. And even if there was, I'm sorry, but even if there was, it'd be none of your business anyway. <laughs> Don't be such a drama queen. But, but Peter, I love you. You'll get over it. No. No, I won't ever. <laughs> you feel rejected. I understand. Oh, don't tell me what I feel. I know me better than you do. I know you better than you oh, do. Don't start with that crap again. I know why you dropped me. I didn't drop you. You think... You think you don't deserve my love. Well, too right I don't. No, but you do. Yoni. You don't know me. Not anymore. We've changed, both of us. No, I don't think that I'm worthy of you, and that's because I'm not. You're the sweetest, kindest, most generous-hearted person I've ever known. You see? You do love me. I feel sorry for you. Oh, Pete. It doesn't mean that I don't love and respect you as a friend. Well, then why can't we? I mean, aren't, aren't love and respect the most important things? I'm just not sexy. Oh, you are. You have no idea how sexy you are. Really? Honestly.
but just not to you. Just not to me. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> Neither is this. It's a cruel and selfish thing to do, you know it is. Well, how do you think I would have felt if you'd done it? You'd have got over it. Well, then you can get over me. You don't know how this feels. We'll always be friends. No, we can't. You said, you said we didn't have anything in common anymore. No, I didn't. I just said that you weren't political. But I went to all those meetings. Only because I was going. You were never really interested. Yes, I was. You were bored. Well, how would you know that? Because you was fidgeting and playing with your hair. Well, it was boring. You don't care enough about the injustices of rampant monopoly capitalism. Not like Kathy Vanderholt. What? No. No. Oh, no. Not Kathy Vanderholt. No, no, no. No, it's all right. If it is her, I understand. Well, Matthew Rins says she's got bosoms till Tuesday. It's got nothing to do with the size of her bosoms. So it is her. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! So what? Huh? So fucking what? It's got nothing to do with you even if I do like her. Which I don't. I do. Like her. Doesn't necessarily mean I want to fuck her. It's not necessarily always to do with sex. Necessarily. <sighs> it's all right. I won't come to any more meetings. I'm not prohibiting you from coming. No, you're right. I'm not really... I'm not really a political person. I'm sorry. I'll get over you eventually. Yes. And then we can be friends. <laughs>